Hi ladies, it's Chrissy. Um, I'm just going to do a, let me adjust this camera. I'm just going to do a quick um, mascara review. I know they call me Mascara Whore 08, that is my screen name, but a lot of people kind of underestimate why, I guess because I've never put a video out there explaining the screen name for years and years and years. I've done nothing but research mascaras um, from everywhere you name it. I would from my best one is from Mexico but I can't find it anymore it came in a glass bottle if anyone knows what it's called or anything like that or how to find it let me know um, but it comes in a short fat bottle don't remember the name all I know is it's from Mexico so if you know what I'm talking about please hit me up so my favorite mascara and this is for volume because I love volume I love the thick full heavy look it's going to be bourgeois Paris clubbing mascara it's about 18 to 20 dollars depending on where you go usually about usually about 18 bucks Sephora had it on sale not too long ago um, and it was half off they went pretty fast and I think I have four stashed around here somewhere um, but it, even though it doesn't say waterproof for the most part it is a waterproof mascara it's sweat resistant it says all that other stuff extreme volume dramatic intense look ultra resistance it's everything it says the brush is huge it has this little reservoir I'm not sure if I can get it in there it has this little reservoir right here where mascara basically just sits. It's only bristles on the top and bottom, or if you want to call it the left and right, the left and right. Um, but the other side is just mascara, so it puts on a whole bunch of mascara, then you basically comb it out. Um, so I do use my Pond's um, cold cream to remove that one. Um, if that's too much volume for you, then you want to go with Lash Blast by CoverGirl. I didn't find that it's smudged or anything like that. It doesn't. It's not waterproof. It comes off easy with soap and water. Um, I didn't find that it gave me the little smudge because I do have oily eyelids. Um, but it didn't smudge or anything like that. The brush is a nice size. Um, even though it is a volume mascara, it gave me a lot of definition too. I was kind of surprised. I had to really work with it to get the the right volume because it was it it did it does define a lot. Um, and I don't know about any oils in that one. I didn't see any that's gonna like help you or benefit you in any type of way. Um, this is S.A. Lauder. It is Scrumptious Bold Volume Lifting Mascara. With this, if you forget to curl your lashes, this is about 20 to 25 bucks. If you forget to curl your lashes, they won't fall with this. I love this. Um, you can keep swiping it on. It keeps your lashes soft. It actually has um, olive oil in it and some proteins as well. But it has olive oil. And the brush is actually not as full as you would think for a volume mascara. But it's still, it's really good. Um, so that's one of them as well. Um, L'Oreal Paris Telescopic. And this one is the lengthening and lash by lash intensifying. So it's not really for volume, just length and definition. Funky little brush, but I like it. It doesn't smudge or anything like that. You can go the day without worrying about it, you know, getting lash, getting uh, mascara up there on your upper lid and things like that. This one has, if I'm right, jojoba oil, jojoba and palm. So you're, it's not gonna, it's not gonna feel really hard. And once you take it off, it is gonna condition your lashes as well. Um, I'm also gonna talk about a mascara I absolutely hate, just so you guys know not to ever buy it because it is just the worst. I'm hoping I didn't already throw it away. Anyway, I'll come back to that one later after I find it. Nope, I found it. Protein mascara. A lot of people talk about how their um, lashes fall or how they um, fall out or they're not strong, like they're um, soft and kind of um, weak. Prote you need protein. Just like your hair. If your hair is breaking and it's weak and stuff like that, you turn a protein. Same thing with your lashes. You need to find a mascara or a protein mascara or one with protein in it. Um, the best one I found is at Sally's. And you can put just a swipe on either... Um, put one little thin swipe on. I do it um, at night. I do it at night after I wash my face. I also do it um, before I put on my regular mascara throughout the day. It's seven bucks and it's um, Shirani Protein Mascara. Professional Lash Thickening Formula in black. It's made in the U.S. And you can't wear this alone. It's gonna, if anything, it's it's not gonna um, give you the volume that you're looking for. If that's what you are looking for, um, more of a defining type of brush. The bristles are pretty separated and things like that. It's really good though. Um, it comes off easy with soap and water. This is a two dollar.
protein mascara from um, Wet n Wild. I hate this stuff. The brush is similar to that one. The formula is not the same. This has different types of proteins in it. Um, and they have the nerve to call it smudge proof nourishing. This stuff doesn't even get dry at all. I put on one coat and noticed that I'm like, what's all over my face? And it was the mascara. This is maybe about 30 minutes after I had put it on. So the mascara sucks. It doesn't dry. We'll never know how good it is because I can't deal with that. So that's all. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not all. I also don't like Benefits mascara. It smells a little funky. The brush is huge, but the the brush is actually good. It's the formula that's like whatever. So it was pretty much a waste of money. It didn't do anything. L'Oreal. I'm sorry, this isn't L'Oreal. What is this? Lancome. It's the osculating one, which is good if you're busy and on the go. Pretty. Um, it's more of a defining type of mascara the formula is pretty good and you know what it's going to be close to telescopic and if I'm right it might it's the same company Lancome and L'Oreal if I'm right L'Oreal and Lancome is owned by the same umbrella or something like that I think I'm right but this is like 35 bucks but if you're in a rush you don't have time to go up and under it's pretty good it coats them really well um and my last one is going to be for um not so much for volume but for length and it's Mju. It's Mju Fiber Wig Paint on False Lashes. I've been wearing this for maybe about three or four years. As soon as it came to the U.S., because it was, it's a lot of people love it in um, in Japan. If you can see, it has little fibers and hairs on it. They're pretty. It's some long ones and some short ones. But I love this formula. If you remember the peel, the paint and peel nail polish, the formula is similar to that. So if you get a little warm water and kind of massage it in a little bit, they start. The, mask, the formula just starts to come off and your lashes are clean and smooth. So, if I'm right, I think that's it. That is it. I have other mascaras, but those are the ones I'm doing right now. And I've been sticking with those. As far as the Bourjois Paris, I've been sticking with those for, I think I've had maybe about six. I've returned a lot of times to buy that one because I swear by it. Um, today I have on Telescopic. And it's pretty good. Um... So that completes the video. If you guys have any questions um, or if you guys are looking for some mascaras that you guys want me to try out, by all means, just leave comments on this video. Um, I don't mind trying them out, you know, at all. I am going to read the ingredients and stuff like that to find out, you know, what's in it and what's going to benefit me. So that's it. Thank you guys. Have a good day.